Today I'm going to be fishing with my good buddy Joseph Herrick of 5050 Fishing and I've been sitting on this footage for a little bit but I'm really excited to finally be able to show it to you. Joseph and I are fishing on a central Minnesota lake that's full of largemouth bass. It's summertime, my favorite time of the year. Let's get loaded. There's one. Nice, 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 nice. On the popping frog. Uh, I don't know how big he is. It's not a bad one. Gosh, he's, he's pretty thick. He's got some. Uh, yeah. All right. He's got some milfoil with him here. That's what he was in. That is a nice. A uh, nice largemouth right there. Super, super thick. I mean, you could just tell this is a northern strain largemouth because he's short and he's really wide this way. But that's a pretty heavy largemouth. They get really green in this lake. It's really awesome. Beautiful, beautiful fish. The lake that we're on today has got a reputation for big largemouth bass. And one of the reasons for that is because it's loaded with milfoil, coontail, all kinds of vegetation. Joseph is using a Texas rig, a weighted Texas rig swim bait, and I'm using a topwater frog. That's a better fish. Oh yeah, that's a decent fish. That was cool. That was cool. Sight casted her. That's a decent fish. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh. Not bad. Ooh, not bad at all. That's what I'm talking about. Sight casted her. That was so cool. That. Let's let her go. And Minnesota's freaking awesome. Look how wonky she is. Her eyes are a little like crooked. You never know what you're gonna run into on a lake, especially on a sultry summer day. Oh my god, it's a girl in a bikini showing up. Wow, what a fantasy. Hey. Am I dreaming? What are you doing out here? I'm just fishing, just doing some taping. Yeah. For a YouTube uh, channel that we got. Oh wow, isn't that fun? Yeah, it's great. What's your name? Belinda. Belinda? Huh. You look like a Jessica to me. Both Joseph and I have our significant others out on the water with us. And whenever that happens, there's always the risk they can make us look bad. Yeah, oh my girl god. Through him. <laughs> Good. That's a good one, man. Yeah. What'd you catch him on? Uh, you caught him on a buzz bait. You blew up on it. This one. Oh, that's great. Were you over in there? I was around the corner. Yeah, right that's a. Yeah, that's a good. Uh, even yeah, around more. Around the corner there, that point too, where that. Yeah. Beach house. Yeah. Right yeah, they're full in there. There's a lot of pike off that point it's too. Like dry, dry. It was hard How to, many were there? Hard to get a selfie. That's just the one. That's fish. a four pounder. That's just the one fish. <laughs> <laughs> it's a four pounder. <laughs> That's right. My wife caught a four pounder on a buzz bait in bright sun. That's usually how it goes. She's uh, she usually outfishes me, right? No, not usually. Okay. It's definitely not right. I was just trying to be nice. Thanks, honey. So <laughs> I think I got a big pike. I just decided to troll this spinner bait on the way back and something wrecked it. Oh my God, at least in the drag, Joe. Oh my gosh, this thing's huge. That's not as big as I thought. 
<sighs> That's a nice one. Not bad. This is crazy. Just decided to troll this. Because I need to head back to get some water. And it didn't take long. Didn't take long at all. And the way he first hit, I thought he was huge. That's still a good one. It's kind of crazy. Joseph decided to troll a spinnerbait behind his kayak. And he's just paddling. He doesn't have a trolling motor. And he hooked up pretty quick with this northern pipe. Oh, he's just, I'm going to lose him. I'm going to lose him. Oh, I got you. <laughs> so crazy. Didn't take long at all. Well, there you go. Nice Minnesota pike. My wife Jessica and Joe's significant other Faith have grown weary of fishing, which I gotta tell you, I'm not surprised at all. And they've decided to go to a bar, which also, not surprising. What's up? Hello? Hey. Hey. Um, just so you know, we don't have service on our cell phones right now because we're at that Madigan's place. Okay. So her phone keeps ringing, but she can't answer because her because phone is like not working. Okay. So she's un unable to actually answer, but it keeps ringing. So we just want to make sure that you know, if you guys are trying to call us, we're going to keep word that that's why she's not answering. Okay. So, so you guys are going to be out for a little while, right? Yeah. So I think what we might do, honey, is just head home because of So I'm talking to my wife and I, I just got caught a largemouth uh, on a buzzbait. So I, ha I had to just hang up on her. I mean, this is, I hope she understands, but... I I've got a largemouth on a buzz bait, and it's not a bad one, okay? Yeah, I just hung up on my wife, okay. That's, uh, that's not a bad one, so. Okay, I felt like we had the cloud cover moving in, sun's getting lower, I felt like the buzz bait uh, would work, and indeed, it, uh, it has, so. I'm just gonna keep on going down this kind of, we got a milfoil kind of uh, weed line here, and I'm just gonna be casting to the edge of it and hopefully picking up some more of these guys. I'm sorry, Jessica. The buzz bait that I'm using is a, it's a War Eagle, it's a 3 8 ounce War Eagle buzz bait, and it's uh, chartreuse and white. And I love this buzz bait because it makes so much racket and, and squeak. With a buzz bait, you really want to have a lot of squeak. You can't really hear it right now, but when it's in the water, it squeaks like crazy. And the reason it squeaks like crazy is because this clevis here is actually clamped down in the factory. And if you have any buzz baits that don't have this clevis clamped down to the wire, you want to clamp that down because when this blade is is hitting that clevis, it squeaks and it just makes so much more noise. And bass, I'm telling you, bass love that squeak. Oh, that's a big fish. My lord, is that a big fish right there? That is a big, big fish. I don't. Oh my gosh, what a what a strike! It's a pike. It's a pike. Oh gosh, it's a nice pike too. Wow. He just absolutely crushed this thing. Crushed it. Wow. That was so cool. All right, guys, get your yayas out, dude. Get your yayas out. Get your yayas out. Nope, nope, nope. You haven't got your yayas out. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, yayas are out. That is not a bad pike. 
by any means. He, uh, man, that was an amazing strike. He just, I mean, I thought it was a, I thought it was a big largemouth. Uh, the way that he, he just, he kind of, he slashed it. Pike will slash it, but he also, it was more of like a suctioning, kind of like a toilet bowl flush. So I thought it could be a big largemouth, but that's a real beautiful, beautiful pike. So I'm, I'm happy to catch him. Look at that. Look at the markings on that fish. It's gorgeous. Love it. <laughs> All right, buddy. And there he goes. I'm designated water boy today, so I meet up with a parched Joseph to provide relief and trade fishing stories. I was clear over there, right? Yeah. And I started back, like, right pretty much when I got off the phone with you. And I was like, I looked down, I was like, oh, it's a real nice deep weed bed. Yeah. Oh, right here? Uh, clear on that, like, clear across. Nice. I threw, I threw the spinnerbait down in 30 seconds, had like a 30 inch pike. Did you really? <laughs> nice. You got you got it on yeah, Phelps? Yeah. Sweet. I mean, it's all, it's all I have is head mount, but yeah. Still, That's cool. Pretty cool. It's fighting like crazy. On here's, some, here's some waters, dude. Thank you. Give me two of them. Appreciate it. Yeah. Get out of that stuff. Come on. Come on. You're still in there? Oh yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's not bad. That's not bad. Yes. Not bad. Oh. That was wild. Oh. Solid fish. Oh my gosh. Wow. 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 Nice large mouth right here. Nice large mouth. He's not he's not giant, but he's not he's not a bad one. There's such a great average size in this lake. And they're all just chunky. Oh, look at that. That's so awesome. Golly. I love catching them on a buzz bait. I mean, these fish are just thick in here. I love this lake. All right, bud. Thank you. I'm alternating between a buzz bait and a popping frog. And the reason I'm doing that, I can cover a lot of water with a buzz bait. This lake has a ton of vegetation in it. There's a lot of places for the bass to hide. With a buzz bait, you can really target active fish. However, you're gonna be passing up fish that might not wanna chase. And that's when I go to that poppin' frog. I can slow down with that bait. Whisk. <laughs> God, one just one just hit it while it was still. Oh my God, it's huge! It's huge! <laughs> oh my God, this is a big fish, my lord, my lord! I don't know. Oh God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. And he's got it. Oh God! Now he's in the junk. Open up your mouth. Yes! <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh my god, I'm dropping the rock. <laughs> Look at him. How about that, huh? He just absolutely, it's, it's so crazy. I, I was messing with the trolling motor. I just let the frog sit and he just went dump and grabbed it. I wasn't even moving the frog, it was just sitting. And he nailed it. Look at that fish. Wow. That <laughs> is awesome. Woo! My man Joseph arrives for the assist on this fish. And I got to say, it's really nice having a second cameraman. And honestly, he's got a very reasonable day rate. And by reasonable, I mean it's free. 
Well, this is uh, the biggest largemouth that I've caught this year, so I'm happy about that. And uh, I caught her on this, uh, this is a booyah, it's like a poppin' frog or something is the name of it, but it was crazy. I was just kind of fishing the outside of these pads here, and I was messing with my trolling motor, and the, the frog was just sitting still. And I hear this like boosh, and I look over, and it's right where my frog was sitting. And I'm like, okay, well, a fish has got it. I set the hook, and it wasn't just any old fish. It was this dude. It takes a lot of patience, but if you've worked through an area using more of an aggressive presentation, more aggressive pops, and nothing's really happening, try just letting that bait sit there a little bit. It can make all the difference in the world. All right, let's get this girl back in the water. Oh, there she goes. There's one. I don't know how. Oh my. Looked about, yeah, looked about uh, three or four pounds. That might have been the same fish, came back and ate it. It's the same area. That is crazy. That is nuts. No, uh, this. This isn't a three or four pounder, but he's a good one. Okay, come here, come here. Uh, come here, you gotta open your mouth. Oh, chunkster. Boy, he was, I, look at where he's hooked there. I have hardly ever caught a fish right there before. And I don't think you'll ever lose him when you hook him right there. All right. Not bad, look just how chunky they are. It's crazy. Thank you, bud. There's more to catch, more to catch. It's the witching hour. The sun is nearly down. We don't have a lot of time to fish and the bass are in a feisty mood. one. There's one. I don't know how big he is. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He could be a giant. I don't. He's not a bad one. He's, he's not a bad one. He's spunky. He's not a giant, but I'm not complaining. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. All right. And there you have it, the final fish of the day and a great way to close out a fantastic fishing trip with my man Joseph Herrick of 5050 Fishing. Check out his YouTube channel in the description. Like this video, subscribe to Angling Uploaded. The best way to support Angling Uploaded is go to patreon.com slash angling uploaded, become a patron. You figure out what the value is that you're receiving from our content and you can just figure out how much you want to donate every month. We got giveaways. We upload content there before anywhere else. Greater fan interaction. It's just, it's the deal, man. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.